guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is bukome bk crown so guys i'm yet again with another reaction video this time around we're gonna be checking out a video together titled treatment of parents in islam yeah let's watch guys sheikh mufti habibi ana hazin he says i'm very sad لأنني سوف أعيش بقية حياتي بلا أم. He says because I'm going to live the rest of my life without my mother. She's passed away. أنا أمي توفت قبل خمسة أشهر أو ستة أشهر. My mother passed away five six months back. والله العظيم. I swear by Allah. أنني الآن أتمنى أمي أن ترجع إلى الدنيا من أجل أن أقبل قدميها. He says, I promise you, I swear by Allah, I feel within me that I desperately want my mother to come back to the earth even for a moment so that I can kiss her feet. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has decreed that none shall be worshipped besides him and that you shall do good to your parents. If one of them or both of them happen to achieve old age in your presence, so don't even say off to them. Don't say off to them and don't use negative words with them. Say to them that which is beautiful, filled with honor. واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة. and lay for them the wing of mercy. be merciful and kind towards them. وقل رب ارحمهما رب ارحمهما رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا. and pray for them by saying, oh my Rabb, have mercy on them because they are the ones who actually brought me up when I was a child. ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه حسنا. And we have instructed mankind to be good to his or her parents. ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه إحسانا. In another verse, the same thing is repeated. Allah says, we have instructed man to be. Kind to his or her parents. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, ربما كثير من الناس معنا الآن وأباه وأمه لم يدخل في الإسلام. He says there may be from amongst us some people whose parents are not Muslim. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala أمرنا أن نبرهما. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has instructed us to be kind to them too and to fulfill their rights. وصاحبهما في and be in their company, Allah says, regarding parents, in this world in a good way. Even if they are not Muslims yet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is compulsory for you to be kind and good to them. Obviously, he's the one who chose those parents for you. إلى نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. A man came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. فقال يا رسول الله. He said, O Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. من أحق الناس بحسن صحابتي؟ Who is the most deserving from among the people of my kind companionship? فقال عليه الصلاة والسلام. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, أمك. Your mother. ثم من؟ Then who else? قال أمك. He said again, your mother. فقال الصحابي من؟ Then he asked again, who after that? أمك. He says your mother a third time. قال ثم من؟ Then he says who? قال أبوك. Then he says your father. After that your father. فهل أنت؟ So you, the question is. صاحب لأمك. Are you a good companion to your mother? 
فهل أنت أيو أحسنت الصحبة لأمك from among those who did good and kindness to your mother فهل أنت أيو قد بررت بأمك وأبيك from among those who fulfilled the rights of your father and mother أريد أن أرسل إليكم رسالة من رجل فقد أمة. He says I want to give you a strong message from a man who's just lost his mother. وفقد أباه. And who lost his father. أتمنى لحظة واحدة. I wish for a moment that they could come back. حتى أقبل قدمي. So that I could kiss their feet. لا إله إلا الله. ما أستع. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant his parents Jannatul Firdaus and all those who've passed away, our parents too. I mean, عندي بشارة للشيخ منصور ولكل من فقد أباه أو أمه. He says, I have good news for Sheikh Mansour and for anyone who's lost their parents. أن البر لا ينتهي بموفاة الأب أو الأم. That the goodness and the kindness to your parents does not stop at the point of their death. والصحيح and the correct أنه أن البر الحقيقي يبدأ بعد الوفاة. That the the true Goodness to your parents actually starts after death, after their death. لأن الأب أو الأم الذي في قبره الآن. Because the mother or the father who's already in their grave right now. لا يستطيع أن يحصل على حسنات وأن يقوم بأعمال صالحة لأنه في قبره. They will not be able to do any more good deeds because they are in their graves. فقد انقطع عمله. So all their deeds are cut. إلا من ثلاثة. Except three things. صدق جارية. A charity that they had given that is constant or the reward of it continues. Knowledge that they may have disseminated in a beneficial way. Or a, or a child whom they have left behind who will pray for him or her. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, this is powerful. So I'm going to quote one of the commandments in the Bible as a Christian which says, you should honor your father and your mother so that your days can be long, so that you can live long on earth. And it's good to remember your parents, especially in their old age, because you have to show love to them. Because when you were little, they, they were there for you. They gave you food, shelter, and clothing. Now that they don't have that strength to, you know, work, you need to, you know, show love. You need to show love to your prayer. Like the man said, the man said the mother died six months ago, and he wish the mother is still alive. So kiss her feet. He's talking out of experience. You don't know the connection him and the mother had. And he wish he could spend more time with the mother. You know, as a parent, to show love to your children. Please take good care of your children so that when you get to that age, when you are old, the will remember you so that they can take care of you because there are some children that based on how their parents treated them when they were young is how they will treat their parents back when they are old even though your parents never showed you love and care please show them love it goes a long way like the other imam said that even if your parents are gone their good deeds is still working for you. So show love. Show love to your parents. Honor your parents. Respect them. Please, as you're showing love to them, respect your parents. Because they deserve the respect. No matter what they do, respect them. Because you also find yourself in that stage. You have to show love. So let's keep watching, guys. And the term walad in the Arabic language refers to both male and female, a child in the English language. So you can actually be good to your parents after they've passed away by praying for them, their forgiveness, and that Allah give them Jannah and protect them from hellfire. So, Allah so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all our parents and those who are alive and those who have passed away and to grant every one of us Jannatul Firdaus. Sheikh Mufti, مهما فعلنا لآبائنا وأمهاتنا فإننا لا نعطيهم ولا حقا بسيطا من حقوقهم. He says no matter what we've done in terms of goodness to our parents, we would not have fulfilled their rights even in a small way. أتى رجل من اليمن. A man came from Yemen. وقد حمل أمه في الحج على ظهره. Carrying his elderly mother on his back. من اليمن إلى مكة. From Yemen to Mecca. على ظهره. On his back. 
فرأى ابن عمر رضي الله عنه. so ابن عمر رضي الله عنه so. فقال يا يا ابن عمر. so he says ابن عمر أو ابن عمر. يا ابن عمر أتيت من أمي من اليمن إلى مكة على ظهره فأل أديتها حقها. he says أو ابن عمر I brought my mother on my back all the way from Yemen to مكة المكرمة. have I fulfilled her rights? قال ابن عمر لهذا الرجل ابن عمر رضي الله عنه said to this man ولا طلقة من طلقاتها أثناء الولادة you haven't even gone through a small portion of what she went through when she just gave birth to you ونختمه he says I end بقوله سبحانه with the statement of Allah سبحانه وتعالى وقضى ربك لا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا. Allah has decreed that none shall be worshipped besides Him, and that you shall be good and kind to your parents. إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما. If either one of them reaches old age in your presence. فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما. Then don't even utter the term أف to them and don't say anything negative to them. وقل لهما وقل لهما وقل لهما قولا كريما. And say to them, say to them that which is filled with honor and dignity, beautiful words of kindness and softness. And you need to lay the wing of humbleness and humility in front of them. And lay in front of them the wing of humbleness, humility, out of mercy, and pray for them that Allah have mercy upon them. Pray for them always that Allah has mercy upon them because they are the ones who brought you up when you were little. ربكم أعلم بما في نفوسكم. Your Rabb knows exactly what is in yourselves. إن تكونوا صالحين. If you are good and pious. فإنه كان للأوابين غفورا. Indeed, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is most forgiving to those who often repent and return to Him. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Like he said, it's show love to your parents. Always pray for them. Don't. Don't say harsh words to your parents. Talk to them in love. Respect them. Respect them. Even though they make you angry, don't insult them. Don't bat mouth them. No, say good words to them. Be there to help them. I know, yes, sometimes out of anger, we can say a lot of terrible things to our parents. But even though you say terrible things to your parents by mistake or out of anger, you know, ask for forgiveness. Show them more love than the hate you get. Show them more love. And God always go close to Allah. Allah will always protect you. Allah will always guide you. Just worship him and you know referencing so guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one stay blessed bye